All right, so today the Dark Forces team released a Bluetooth file transfer application for full unlock devices, which is quite apropos considering they released new full unlock ROMs for first generation Samsung devices uh, just last week. Uh, so now first generation HTC and Samsung owners can uh, enjoy this new Bluetooth file transfer application. I will warn you, it's in some early stages. There's a list of some known uh, limitations and uh, bugs, uh, for lack of a better word, over on the XDA developers thread. Uh, but without further ado, I'll just show you the application. Uh, so it's real simple. You have an interface where you can send files, view the current receiving file tasks, or you can change your settings and you can decide whether or not you want to allow receiving. You can allow it to install zap files automatically and you can change where it receives files at. So I'm just going to show you sending a file real quick. Uh, you can send, here's the file explorer, you can send pretty much any file on the device. Here I have all kinds of weird testing files, so ignore those. Uh, if you want to send a photo, you can head over into uh, my documents, into Zoom, content, mine's under 300, and uh, here are all the photos that I've taken. So I'll go ahead and tap on this one, and I want to bring up this device over here. Here's my trusty um, AT&T Fuse or uh, HTC Touch Pro over here from back in the Windows Mobile days. Good times, good times. Uh, and let this finish searching and it should be able to find it. And there's my Touch Pro. I'll tap on that and it says it's receiving data. And just FYI, Bluetooth is slow. Okay, and so here, do I want to save this to my device? Yes, I do. And if I head over here and tap on that, and there's the photo that I took earlier today from my uh, Windows Phone 7 device. Uh, if I want to send a file over to this device, I can, uh, can take, for example, this test file, and I press Beam File because it's Windows Mobile and, you know, good times. Anyway. And uh, it, should, it should bring up this device uh, pretty soon. I've noticed sometimes it won't bring up the device if I have this application open and I have to open up the, uh, the Bluetooth menu. And then the device becomes more discoverable, I guess. And then it'll find it and I can send the file to it. So there it is, uh, now that I brought this menu up. And I'll just wait for it to identify it real quick. And there it says Jack Spots once. So I'll tap on that. And it's pending. Let's see what happens. And there it brings up Bluetooth file transfer. Yes, I want to receive that file. And if I head over into the application, I should be able to see that there it is, it's receiving. And again, Bluetooth is really slow, so I'll just sort of patiently wait this one out. And it says no tasks, so let's hop over and make sure that file did indeed copy. Uh, so I'll bring up Root Tools and navigate over into My Documents. And sure enough, there's the test file. Uh, so there's a quick little... Uh, just sort of demo on how you can copy files over uh, across two different devices. And I can also do this between my computer and my phone since I have a Bluetooth dongle for my computer. Uh, so I'll just show that real quick. I'll bring that menu back up just for good measure. And over on my computer, I can take, for example, this image I have here, and I'll press Send to Bluetooth Device. And there's my phone right there. I'll click Next, and let's see if this works. And now down on the phone, it says, do I want to receive the file? Yes, I do. Uh, it says I already have it. That's OK. And because uh, I was testing this earlier, so I already copied that file. But uh, there it says that uh, it says it was not completed. But the file was already there, so anyway, but that would work in a usual case. And uh, I can also, if I want to demonstrate how to install zap files, I'll head over to the, uh, I'll head back into the Bluetooth file transfer application. I'll go into settings and I'll say allow uh, auto installation for reg and zap files. Then I'll go back over into the Bluetooth menu for good measure. 
and I'm going to go ahead and deploy this SMS backup application just because I haven't, I don't have it installed yet on this device. And I'll go ahead and um, select my phone, click next. And it says sending to. And here it wants to know if I want to accept it. Yes, I do. And we'll see what happens. This will this will take its time because again this is a fairly large zap file and Bluetooth is just really slow. And it says, "Do I want to install the application?" Yes, I do. And installation is completed. And let's double check the start menu on that. And sure enough, there's the SMS backup application. All right, so that's just a quick demonstration of Dark Forces Team's new Bluetooth file transfer application. Uh, it is a bit glitchy at times, but so is the actual Bluetooth protocol itself. And uh, of course, when I say Bluetooth is slow, I'm not referring to their application. I'm referring to the actual Bluetooth protocol, uh, which if you're used to Wi-Fi uh, wi or USB speeds is a little bit slow. But it's okay because, you know, we've got, uh, we've got the ability to transfer files between a two uh, portable devices, which is actually really cool and has been requested for Windows Phone 7 ever since it was uh, launched to the general public. So anyway, if you have a full unlocked device, you might want to head over to XDA Developers and go ahead and try this out. And uh, if you don't have a full unlocked device, well, here's one more thing that'll make you envious.